Hello there everyone, so uh, my name is Sergio and I would like to show you how to create a uh, double catapult that can fire two shots at the same time and for example I have here a um, let's see a firing ball and a um, bump and let's test that as you can see it works pretty damn good you can use two bombs you can use two flaming balls it's up to you anyway uh, this is the final product so let's see how do we achieve this so my uh, let's see let's destroy uh, let's destroy the entire machinery and let's create it again uh, what I intend to do is to create a machine that uh, can move around can rotate you know and can also do uh, do some damage here and there my my first thought when I started to play uh, uh, besiege was how the hell do I create a catapult I was just stuck on this but of course uh, I learned how to do it and I am here to help the new the new players as well so here I am guys I'm building the the very skeleton of the catapult all right uh, it's very important to, to start with this first with the skeleton uh, I'm making several wheels because um, I want it to be really resistant and if you lose two wheels you want uh, actually despair all right after we have this after we have this uh, skeleton we must set everything on the ground let's set the machine on the ground by click clicking on the set machine on the ground button really easy huh all right now we need to take care of the wheels of the of the wheels yeah and for that we're gonna need the steering uh, first why because with the steering we will be able to rotate uh, our our um, machinery you see I am placing the steering on every side where I want to place the wheels oh let's uh, let's set the machine okay a bit higher all right now let's okay let's exit this and let's place the wheels now as you can see the wheels rotate in a different direction while the steering in another direction it's important not to have that on both sides so I'm gonna hover over the wheel and I'm gonna press no not over the wheel over the the steering and I'm gonna press F and it will change the rotation of it you see must be the same way as the as the wheel on one side and on the other side it should be in a different way so let's test it it does work it doesn't work why doesn't it work because it's on a different direction here okay now it works guys as you can see it does rotate and it moves okay we tested this now let's um, let's get on other things now to make it more resistant to make it more resistant you can place braces how to place the braces simply click on uh, on the machine and then keep clicking and drag it to the other edge now we are making the skeleton and we're doing a good job here as you can see it's more resistant now this will keep the wood in place of course the more braces you place the more resistant it will be awesome all right now let's get to the point where we actually build the catapult all right so what I'm gonna do I will make one two three 
three pylons. I'm gonna connect them. Okay. Also, I want to connect this side for further resistance, guys. To make sure that our machinery is gonna resist everything that it go is gonna encounter. So, I forgot about this little thing on the skeleton. But no worries. You can do it now. Okay, after you built this... After you build this, make sure to place some braces here as well. The braces will give resistance to your machine, your catapult. All right, now that we have this, um, let's um, build the hinge. Now, as you can see, this is the hinge. The hinge cannot be placed while the block is... Oh, okay. While the wood is um, has braces on it, so we're gonna... We're gonna have to do this. Oh, okay, I place it by mistake. Okay, where? What are you doing? Like this, guys. Alright. I did a mistake there. Sorry. Bam. Alright, the, the hinge should be here. On the same um, line with this. This um, part of the skeleton. Okay, now that we have that... We have to make the the arm that is throwing um, everything away. All right, so I'm gonna make this. All right, there you go. How does it look so far, guys? It's not that hard to build a catapult. Of course, it was hard for me in the beginning. Now it's very important to place the braces. But first, 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 let's place the holder. The holder cannot be placed here at the very edge because we touched the edge. But don't worry, don't worry, guys. Not a problem at all. Okay, we put the, the artillery there. Now we need, we need the braces to make sure that this arms are not gonna t break apart or something because it cannot support that much hate um what all right braces everywhere all right guys this is it now we must make sure that uh we can Actually use something to fire them to to trigger them to to to, to trigger the, the catapult So here I'm gonna make I'm gonna use strings for that how to place the strings simply click on the arm and drag it there click on the arm and drag it there Not that hard click on the arm and drag it there click on the arm and drag it there Click on the arm and drag it there. How does it look so far, guys? Let's set it to the ground. Let's press space. And now let's press L to, to, to use the strings. Bam. As you can see, it failed a little. We must ask ourselves why. But the second try is... More, we are more lucky with the second try. Ah, uh, wasn't this awesome, guys? So, what do you think about my double catapult? It's nice, indeed. It can, it can move. It can move around. Now, make sure not to move too fast because you will auto destroy it. But it looks, it looks great, guys. 
of course it needs some improvements when you move but other than that the catapult is great fire amazing i love it all right guys uh, i hope you enjoyed the tutorial i hope i could be helpful from here of course you can test and do everything you wish in order to improve the the resistance of your catapult i thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah stay sexy bye bye